Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, I upload three videos a week beauty beauty bible and lifestyle so if any of those interest you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video so for today's video i have a shop my stash for you guys and i wanted to do like a gold bronzy type look so let's go ahead and get into picking out some makeup the perfect time to shop my stash because the sun isn't down yet also i have a few more hours before the sun goes down the sun is going down to about nine o'clock here whenever i do a shop my stash i kind of know like the look that i'm going for so today I really want to do like a glowy, bronzy summertime look. So I want to go in with my Wonder Beauty foundation. And then for concealer, I'm really debating between these two. Maybe I could mix the two. Maybe we'll mix them. And then color correcting and I'm going to kind of contour today. And then for primers, I'm going to take this one because I've actually really been liking it. And then yesterday, I tried out my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip sample. So I'm going to use it again today because I'm using my most favorite foundation. So I want to see if it really works. I use And then obviously, I always take this. Today, for setting sprays, what I want to use is my Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Fixing Spray because this doesn't really alter the finish of your makeup. It just really help, helps set everything into place. And then for a glowy look, I'm going to take our e.l.f. Glow Dewy Mist into the powder. I just got this in the mail today along with the backup of my, um, this is their 8L palette and contour palette. So uh, here we go. That shade came broken, but I don't mind because I'll probably never use it because it has that purple hue to it. So I'm going to use this to highlight and contour and bronze today. And then for blush, I'm going, I'm also going to take a liquid highlighter and I'm going to do this one, and a liquid blush. And then I'm going to use this blush to keep that glow. And obviously we need a setting powder. So the one I'm going to take because it has a slight glow to it is my own Halo Glow setting powder. And then bronzy eyeshadow, bronzy eyeshadow. Um, I'm gonna use a palette I haven't used in a while, so let's go with Modern Renaissance. For mascara, let me use mascara that I haven't used in a while. Take out our brown eyeliner, so we need that with that brown eyeliner. And let's use this one. I'm not gonna, I mean, I actually need to get rid of this mascara because it stinks for one. And then it also made my eyes act all crazy the last time I used it. So probably going to be getting rid of this. Of course, we need a lash glue. Which brow pencil haven't I used before? Let's use e.l.f. brow pencil. e.l.f. brow pomade. We'll use this brow gel. Let's take these lashes. I actually have two styles in here. I have the Kiss Number Ones and then the Pompadour style, but we will probably use the Number Ones. So that is good for that. For lips, let's do something brownie nude and pretty. So let's go in with our lip liner in the shade Keep It Spicy, and then we'll go around the outer edges with our dark brown lip liner from e.l.f. And then let's do our e.l.f. lip gloss in the shade, come on, Champagne Glam. Champagne Glam, that's what we'll use. All right, so let's go ahead and get into applying this makeup. Okay, so you guys have seen everything that we picked out, so let's get into Playing with some products. I'm feeling good about filming and editing ever since last week. We had our struggles. We had our struggles. So this week's gonna be better. We're gonna have four videos up this week. Four, what? Okay, four videos, whatever. 
Okay, so <laughs> let's go ahead and get into priming our face. So I'm gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and take this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer and I've been trying it out. And you guys, I wore this to the, yesterday when I did my makeup, we went to the gym and I did, I did a pretty intense workout. Like I sweat, I think I burned like 700 calories, active calories at the gym yesterday. And my makeup looked perfect when we left. Like there was nothing like, oh my gosh. Like I don't think it could have been any more perfect than it was yesterday. So like this primer, I might even consider buying the travel size one because I don't need a Dynamo primer. And the travel size one's only 15 bucks. Also, I'm going to go in with my Benefit Professional Hydrate Primer. When I first started watching YouTube back in like the end of 2014, 2015, um, I used to always get the Balm and Benefit mixed up. Did anybody else ever do that? Like I used to get them mixed up because they kind of both use like these like, not vintage, but like, like the old school type girls. Like they both use like, I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but it's like vintagey. I don't know if I'm making sense. Getting some pimples right here, and I'm pretty sure they're from, you know, hormones and that time of the month, my cycle. So I woke up with really bad cramping this morning, and I know I tried to poop. So since I couldn't poop, I know it was because of my period. My wrist is already getting smaller. I'm on my third hole, and it still moves. It doesn't feel too tight anymore. When I first got my watch the, at the beginning of the month, I could only go to the second hole. Now it's getting loose, and I'm on the third hole. Oop, oop. Okay, so now we are gonna go ahead and spray real quick. So now that that's on, we're gonna go ahead and get into our brows. Now you can see how much skinnier this brow is compared to this one. Or maybe they look the same, I don't know. The reason that I mess up all the time is because these hairs right here on at the front are not the same as on this side. So that's why I always mess up when I'm doing my brows. So in the midst of losing a lot of stuff on my computer, I also found a lot of stuff on my computer that I didn't know where it went. Like a bunch of music and stuff that I had downloaded previously I found because it just disappeared out of my music library and I was looking and I was like and I've been looking and I was like where did it go turns out it's in the apple tv section of my computer I'm like why did it go there but I guess because I downloaded them from youtube I think we got it, I think we got it. Now all we gotta do is fill. That wasn't too bad, not too shabby. And then, oh, I used my e.l.f. Um, my e.l.f., sorry, my e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil is what I use, and I have, this doesn't have a shade on it. Oh, yes it does. Neutral brown is what I got. And then for pomade, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Brow Cream, and I have mine in the shade Medium Brown. Okay, so this right here has actually been this is the Pro Fusion Angled Brow, Rep, uh, Brow Brush, so it's EB1. And this has been my favorite brow brush. You guys, um, my friend Raquel here on Facebook, Facebook, here on YouTube and Instagram is doing this series this week, I believe. I think it's almost done, I don't know. But she's been doing a series where her best friend like sends her like makeup looks to recreate and she's only doing it on Instagram, but oh my gosh, you guys, like her skills are like out of this world. And I'm like, girl, I wish I had the time like and the skills to do that. Like I can do a colorful look, I could do a cut crease, I could do a halo eye, I could do a wing, I can do a colorful look, but the skills that she is putting in, like the time and the effort that she is putting into this, like she just hit 700 subscribers not too long here on YouTube, so go check her out, subscribe to her, cause she gonna get to a thousand this year. And I'm gonna get to a thousand this year. I'm speaking it into existence. We're not even halfway through the year and I'm almost halfway there. And when I hit 500 subscribers, I'm doing a giveaway. I already talked to Brian about it. I'm doing a giveaway. Yes, I am. So, um, anyways, check out 
her channel Raquel Borrego. I'll link her down below. I'll put her Instagram handle up right now. And yeah, you gotta check her out. I was just thinking about it. Cause I was like, man, like it's taking me this long to perfect doing my eyebrows. And this girl is doing like big things with her, eye with her makeup looks, but they've been really interesting and nice to watch. Cause I'm just like, man, like you can really see how much doing makeup is truly an art and things like that. Cause that's why I'm into makeup and people wanna be like, oh, you can't wear makeup if you live for God. Yes, that's not what the Bible says. I can understand why they see that, like just eliminate from appearing to be like the rest of the world in general, but it's not a sin to wear makeup. You're not gonna be condemned to hell for wearing makeup. But anyways, you can truly see how much it is an art to some people and how it can be an art. Like that's why I do it. You know, I love doing makeup on others. I love doing makeup on myself and just learning new techniques and how to do things. So we are gonna go ahead and color correct. I'm gonna take my pretty vulgar concealer and this is in the shade uh, in the middle or the middle ground. 63, the middle ground. Cover all of those curves. This is not the business. Every time I say that, I think of like older music and you know how older music always had like the record label or their little logo beans said at the beginning, like there was one that was like beans and cornbread. And then I think there's another one that's like the business. I don't know. I don't know, who knows? Going in with my Fayon brush. This is the one from Amazon. And I'll actually always link that brush set down below because it truly is like i always reach for these brushes and you get so many for such a good price like you get face brushes powder brushes like you get your, you get your like your you get a highlighting brush you get your concealer brush you get your foundation brush your powder brush your bronzer brush along with like a whole <gasps> excuse me with all your eye brushes for like 17 bucks so if you're just starting out, that's great. If you're just addicted to buying brushes like me, it's a great deal. I actually need to clean all my makeup brushes. You know what, I might buy one of these sets and give it away. Give away like my favorites. Okay, now that that's done, do I need my eye tapes? Nah. We're gonna go ahead and prime our eyelids and we're going to be using our e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. I have this one in the shade Medium Peach. You don't need a lot of this. You do not need a lot of this. Gonna just go ahead and go back in with that same brush. Got really quiet out there, Brian must have stopped playing the game. So, going in with my Modern Renaissance palette. I haven't played with this in a really long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade right here in the shade, oh, it's kind of shimmery. Never realized it. But I'm going to go in with a shade Tempera, Tempera, to, yeah, Tempera and set all of that down. I'm going to use just a big fluffy brush. So I'm gonna use this brush I got in an Ipsy one time. This is the Farrah Large Shading Brush and I'm just gonna set that down. Never realized how shimmery that was until just now. I like satiny. Like there's definitely some shimmer to it, but it doesn't look shimmery. It just looks satin, like satin. Now that that is set down, what I'm going to do is we're going in with bronzy, 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 bronzy. So, which one do you guys think is darker out of these two? This one. Should I go in with this one for my crease? Let's do this one in the crease and then we'll do this one like as, we'll do this one as our transition color, this one as our crease. So, raw sienna as transition and then burnt orange in the crease so i really need to wash my brushes you guys i got yellow green i got all kinds of colors on my makeup brushes right now lots of blues and reds <laughs> browns so i did clean this off as good as i could going in with raw sienna now and we're just gonna put this in start using building this up as our transition shade so i had ordered that um that morphe palette that you guys saw me pick out and a back it was a set of that and um the new delusion the wonder beauty new delusion foundation for 17 bucks on ipsy you guys like when you're subscribed to ipsy like they let you pick from all these sets they do like flash sales on the same day that you choose your what which product you want like for sure one product 
we're gonna let you do your choice for the month coming up so i was like let me see what they have and i usually don't buy anything from the flash sale i'm just like i usually like all the products but i was like let me look and i had been like dreading running out of my nude illusion foundation because it really is like my favorite foundation right now and uh, i was like you know what i and i've been eyeballing this morphe bronzing palette like i don't want to bite the bullet like i don't want to pay 18 bucks for one palette like that's not me and i got both things for 17 dollars and i just got the email yesterday that was like your items have shipped and it was in the mail today and i was like see look at ipsy doing big things because whenever you shop boxy pop-up like i buy i would buy things from boxy pop-up and then they would come in the mail and i'd be like oh i forgot i bought this because that's how long it would take to come in and i was just like okay like boxy's just falling off you guys like for me anyways like personally for me and my experience it's been falling off since last year and i was subscribed to it for about a year and i just unsubscribed so i'm happy i stuck with ipsy because like i said you may not get like the big brands in your box all the time it, and i like that i like that it helps you discover maybe like indie brands or brands that aren't talked about all the time and it you know like it brings attention to those brands i like that anyways yeah i'm super excited that i was able to get that palette and a backup of my favorite foundation for $17 and I didn't have to pay 18 for the palette and 40 bucks for the foundation separate so yeah saved a lot of moolah going in with burnt, burnt orange now and the brush I just used was the profusion large eyeshadow blending brush that's what I went into my crease with and now let's see if we can find something clean Mm. Now I'm going to take the Moda Pro BMX crease brush and we're going to go in with burnt orange. Drinking some orange juice to see if I can't kick these allergies butts out my system. It was like super moist and so like our allergies acted up like when it first started raining and now all of a sudden it got super dry and it's about to be like actual summer. So they started acting up again. I'm actually gonna go turn on the sprinklers in the backyard. I love ABH eyeshadows, like just how creamy and blendable they are and how smooth they look on your lid. Hands down, favorite eyeshadow formula, period. Okay, now going in with this Farrah short shading brush and i'm going to just i'm going to mix Rilger and cypress what is it called a cypress um is that number or umber cypress umber i'm gonna mix these two and just deepen this up a little bit We are on the struggle bus right now, you guys. Let's just blend. We had a little bit more orange back over here because I tried to even it out because this one was too orange, this one's too brown, and this one's just staying too brown. So I added some brown over here, and y'all, patience is key with everything in life. I think we're evening it out. I'm gonna go in with a lot of real girl. How to get this more browns, more bronze than brown. I think, I think we got it, you guys. Going back in with the brush that we used raw sienna on. Just gonna go ahead and blend up here towards the brow bowl. Then I'm gonna go in with this brush and go with a little bit of burnt orange and blend this right in the crease right here. Just to make sure everything's nice and blended. Nice and blended. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to take a flat brush. I'm going to take the one that actually comes in the palette. And I'm going to take Primavera right here. And we're going to put that in the center. 
Or we have that blank space. I've got a blank space, baby. And I'll read your name. Does anybody else's brain do that? Like you say a word and it triggers a movie or a song? Or is that just me? It's a lot more gold than what it looks like in there. Comes off a little bit darker. That's okay, that's what I wanted. Okay, so going back in, we're just gonna work backwards. No additional product, just the products that's left on the brush. Blend edges. All right, all right, all right, all right. So now we're gonna curl our lashes and then I am gonna go ahead and go in with my CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara in the shade Very Black and just apply a couple, one to two coats of that. Who used to let me do eyeshadow looks like this with only mascara. Now, I used to not wear lashes and that is not cute. That is not cute, y'all. Not cute. So now I'm going in with my Kiss at number one lashes, which are these three down here. And I'm just gonna apply those and then we will be right back. I don't know what it's been lately, but we'll put it on lashes. My eyes have just been wandering. We didn't have as much of a struggle as time as yesterday, but it was a little struggle. So now I haven't, I'm trying out this new method that everybody's talking about of not putting uh, anything under your lower lash line. So I'm just gonna go to put my brushes up, my eye brushes up, and we're gonna go ahead and get into the face. So obviously, as you guys seen, the foundation I'm going in with is my Wonder Beauty Foundation in the shade Medium. And as I was telling you guys, this has been my favorite foundation. So much so as to I ordered a backup. You guys, I didn't even order a backup of the, what you call it, the um, L'Oreal Infallible. This is very similar to that. So if you want a cheaper alternative, just get the L'Oreal Infallible. Because this is actually a dupe for that. And I wish I would have said that in my dupes video. The Wet n Wild one can be a dupe for the L'Oreal Infallible one too. It's just way more dewy. So if you have oilier skin, get the Infallible because it's cheaper than this. But if you really want to be cheap, get the Wet n Wild dewy version of the foundation. Go into my Wet n Wild. Speaking of Wet n Wild, going in with their sponge. I have my satin lips on from Mary Kay. I actually really like that. I'll link it down below too. This matches me perfect now. I don't even have to drag it down my neck as much as I once did. Getting dark. Kicking off this summer with the tan tan. So since I added a lot initially, I don't have to go in and build it up really. And since I color corrected, I don't. I'm gonna drag this down just a tad a bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Now with concealer, I'm gonna take just a little bit of this because it is really good and super full coverage. So we're taking just a little bit. But I also want to take, oh, this is the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. But I also do want to take some of this Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Concealer because this adds a really pretty glow to your skin. And since we're all about that summer glow right now, we're just going to mix it. Everything's opening back up. I'm so excited. I'm not scared at all. Like, I think people give this virus way too much power. Like, way too much power. I mean, I get it. People, you can't, people who aren't of the spirit don't understand the things of the spirit. They only understand things of the flesh and the flesh is always gonna tell you to fear. I have wisdom. I'm not just gonna go out all willy nilly, never wash my hands and just, you know, not sanitize anything. I've always sanitized the baskets. I've always washed my hands once I got home from the store and before we ate and things like that. I feel like we're just being all willy nilly, but I'm not gonna fear it either combination is really pretty under the eye okay and now gotta hurry because dinner's here so before i film my other two videos i gotta finish this one real fast to go eat dinner with my familia and then come back and finish working but for right now i'm going in with my la girl pro conceal and i'm taking mine in the shade chestnut and you need very little of this you guys so i just squeeze it out just a little bit and very light-handed, start at the top of your ear, come down. And then we are going to take our 
This is a Makeup Geek Cheek Highlighting Brush, but since it is duo fiber, I like to use it for blending out my cream contour. I'm just going circular motions upwards. Take any excess right here along my temples because I have a wide face, so I don't like to push it out. I like to push it in. take this around the edges just to blend it more. Now we're gonna take this side of our sponge and I'm gonna take my Ulta Beauty Stay Cheeky Liquid Blush. You guys, I love this. And you can go in pretty heavy handed because it's that light and that easy to work with. And I have mine in the shade Preppy Peach. And the reason we're doing so many cream products underneath our uh, powder products is because that's how you're going to get a really good glow as well. You could even just stop at the cream products and just set it down and need to be and just go on about your day and you will have that nice glow or if you're somebody with super dry skin and you can get away with not setting any of this, you will have the most beautiful natural glow. So I'm not going to take too much of that just because we are going to go in with an actual powder blush. Actually, I'm gonna take a little bit more because it's not showing the actual like peachiness. It's just showing the glow really. So let's just build that up just a little bit. There we go. So like I said, you can go on pretty heavy handed with this if you are a little bit deeper, if you're fair. I couldn't I can't say that you'll be able to go in super heavy handed with this. But I mean, I'm medium skin tone and I can go in pretty heavy handed with this, so. And then for cream or liquid highlight, I'm gonna take this Suva Beauty Liquid, uh, 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 liquid Chrome Illuminating Drops. I got this in an Ipsy and I don't know what shade it is, but I did shake it. We're gonna squeeze just a little bit out. I'm not even gonna have anything in there. Just gonna do dot, 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 dot. And just like that. Taking that same sponge, I'm gonna go on the side right here and also just blend that out. It's gonna help with like a more natural glow. It's not gonna look so powdery. Ooh, don't apply dots directly to your skin if you're not going to be able to blend it out fast. Cause as you can see, oh, it's a little rough there. Maybe I just shouldn't be able to. It doesn't move the foundation. And there you go. You got that. Oh, that little dot on my nose ain't blended out all the way. You got your glow on, girl. Like I said, if you have dry enough skin to where you don't have to set anything, you could easily stop here. Like, easily stop here. I don't, so well, I can't get away with not setting my face at all because I'm actually, like, I'm normal to dry, but more normal now, so... Um, in the winter, I'm more dry, but right now my skin is a lot more normal and so it does produce oil. So it's something this glowy and this dewy. I do have to set, but so what I'm going to do so that way we don't lose like all of this glow that we applied. I'm going to take the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder and I have mine in the shade of light. And this is what we're going to use to set our face today just to keep, you know, the glow. I did go ahead and blend out any creases that may have formed under our eyes and then set it. You never want to set creases. Obviously they're set there. Sorry if the audio is a little wonky today. My phone's dying, so I have to have it hooked up to the charger instead of the microphone. So, that's what we're doing. Don't go in heavy handed setting. You just want to set it to where, I don't know, like it's set. I don't know how else to say it. And you see, I still have a lot of that glow coming through. So you don't want to lose that glow. Don't set so much to where you've matted it, like you've made yourself matte, like you took away all the hard work of you getting that glow. You don't want to do that. That's an easier way to put it. Now that we did all of that, let's do, okay, let's finish up the eyes really fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take 
my LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in the shade Brown, and I'm just gonna apply that to our waterline. I really want to get lots of colorful eyeliners because, like I said, I'm not really, I'm not really, I'm not really wanting to add anything underneath the eyes right now. I'm just trying to testing it out and seeing what, and seeing what all the hype is about about leaving your lower lash line bare. A lot of people feel like it makes them look younger. They don't look as aged. Um, I heard first heard it Jam Beauty 89 say that and then i heard a, i can't remember who else said it that also watched jam beauty and they like it as well i can't remember if it's taylor win i don't know i don't know i can't remember who else said it but they inspired me to keep trying this or to try this out so now we're just gonna go back in with that covergirl exhibitionist mascara and apply that to our lower lashes keep calling jessica braun jam beauty 89 even though she changed her name it's just jessica braun now i mean i can definitely tell that since i haven't been doing like nothing on the lower lash line just putting that brown in my um on my waterline i can see my bottom lashes a lot more so that's real cute so let's go ahead and wrap this up so the next step that i usually always go in with is bronzer so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the shade donut just because it's called donut which is this one <laughs> and i'm gonna start applying that and this will actually especially during the summer since it's coming up on those hot summer days this is actually really going to help your makeup last so long doing the two-step process of doing a cream setting it like doing cream bronzer cream blush cream highlighter and then setting it and then going in with powder on top your makeup is going to last so flipping long Also that Hydra Grip Primer, finding a primer that grips onto everything. One that I like from the drugstore a lot is the Wet n Wild Primer Serum. That gives you a really tacky base and helps grip everything into place also. So priming and setting and just adding cream products underneath the, you can, I don't think it makes you like cake face. That's why I like liquid over cream, but going in with my Peach Punch Blush, I'm going to apply that going with my Luxie Pro Precision Taper Brush. I know that that used to be one thing for me is I would be like, I'm just gonna sweat this makeup off anyway. So like, what's the point? But you know, like you learn, you learn how to mess with stuff and work with stuff and you learn what works for you and what doesn't. Let's just put this out a little bit. A little patchy. Yeah, you learn like what works for you, how to make your makeup last long, and all these steps will help you. So if you're kind of like, I'm not doing makeup this summer, I feel like it's pointless, try these steps. So I'm gonna take, uh, whew, I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna take in this Take Supernova and highlight with that, going in with my favorite highlighting brush. I'm actually gonna use that as, a, I'm also gonna use Supernova to highlight my inner corner. Nice bronzy highlight. I must have had blue glitter on this brush. So if you see that glitter, that's from a previous makeup look, it's not in this highlight. Oh, that's pretty, I like that. Okay, so now we can go in with the lips and then we will set and we will be done. So for lips, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this e.l.f. lip liner in the shade Dark Brown. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do this along the outer edges. So we're literally going to line. And you guys, I'm not overlining. My, my line for my lip literally does go under. Okay, so... I know that this is intense and bold, but bear with me, we're gonna tone it down. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with Keep It Spicy by LA Girl. And this is one of their retractable lip liners and we're gonna start blending that. And that is how you get a nice little ombre lip. Since we're keeping it bronzy, what I wanna do is I wanna go in with this Champagne Glam Lip Gloss, also by e.l.f. Okay, now we're gonna go in 
Oh, we need to set our brows. We need to set our brows. So we're using this Believe Beauty um, brow gel. And this is, I have mine in the shade Light Brown, which is actually like the blonde. But I thought my brows were gonna come out a lot darker. So I chose this one. Now we're going to set and I'm gonna spray a little bit of this on our sponge. Just a little bit, tap some off. Okay, you guys, this is the completed makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this bronze, glowy, long-lasting summer get ready with me shop my stash makeup tutorial. <laughs> Don't know what I'm going to title this video yet, obviously. So this is a completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you have any video suggestions, please leave those down in the comment box below. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah. Time to go eat. <laughs>